Hello everybody and welcome back to Art a la carte. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw some mushrooms. So this first sketch is going to be a super simple mushroom sketch that just about anyone can do. It's going to start off with a vertical, no, horizontal line. I always get those two mixed up. So a line side to side. This will be the bottom of the mushroom cap. For the top of the mushroom cap, you're just going to draw a half circle. The only thing that's left in this sketch is to draw the stem for the mushroom, which I'm gonna give myself a guideline straight down the middle. And then just to add a little bit of character, instead of having two straight lines, they're gonna be slightly curving. And that's basically it. If you ever wanted to draw a mushroom, that's how to draw it, so. Yay, thanks for watching, but oh no, just kidding. So now that we know how to draw a more simplistic mushroom, let's beef it up a little bit and get a little more dimension in our drawing. So the bottom of the cap, now we're gonna have it turning. So instead of a straight line, I'm gonna have it slightly curving. But after that, everything else is still the same. I'm gonna have a half circle for the top and then draw my stem coming down. Again, you can add a little bit of curves to that if you want, because mushrooms are so cool the way they grow. Now, if you decide to draw more than one mushroom like I have in this picture, a tip is to overlap them. Have one mushroom slightly covering up another mushroom. Another fun option is to change the sizing of your mushrooms. You can have large mushrooms and then tuck in some tiny baby mushrooms underneath. I got the idea for this video when my niece was creating a birthday card for a family friend and wanted to draw mushrooms and she asked me to show her how to draw mushrooms and I thought I should make a video of this because drawing mushrooms are so much fun. I hope you find drawing mushrooms just as much fun as we did. Some tips for coloring your mushrooms, especially if you like those fun bright spots on them, is to pre-draw out the spot circles. Now sometimes when we draw those circles we think of the actual line as the border of the circle, but think about the actual white inside the circle as the border of that. Because once you fill it in the color, you'll find that your circles have shrunk down a little bit. So making your circles a little bit bigger than you normally would when you go to color them in will give them a good size. Also fun tip, is you don't have to make the circles perfect circles. You can add some fun little shapes. So on one of the spots, I put a little heart shape. When it comes to coloring, you can get your ideas from photograph and real life, or you could just have fun with it and create whatever kind of color mushrooms you want. Because really, you're an artist, you can create them however you want them. That makes, that's like the fun of being an artist, is having that freedom to change things. If you wanna really bump this up, you can add some fun shadowing, highlight, texture, all of that. If you want a more illustrated or cartoony look to your mushrooms, adding a black outline around them or inking them in can really make that transition from more illustrated to cartoony. But the biggest thing that you can do if you wanna get good at drawing mushrooms is to draw and paint and color a lot of mushrooms. So I decided to take a piece of watercolor paper and just fill mushrooms. Why? Because I could. I went through and looked at a bunch of different reference photos. I really wanted to go out and show you some of the crazy mushrooms that grow around this area, but I realized I am doing this at the wrong time, or at least I can't find any mushrooms. I went out and there was nothing, so I have no actual mushroom footage for you. But if there is any of you guys who are watching who have maybe some photos of cool mushrooms, if you have an Instagram account, I would love for you to tag me in your mushroom photos. Or if you've done paintings or drawings of mushrooms, I would love to see them. So tag me in Instagram, on Twitter, on my Facebook page, share them with everybody else so we can all see our fungus friends out there. That yeah, should be the hashtag, fungus friends. I haven't checked that hashtag. It might not be a solid one. So um, yeah but it sounds like it should be fun, fungus friends. It's probably already a thing, but hey, we can all be fungus friends together. If you're brand new to my channel and enjoy these types of videos, make sure to also hit the subscribe button so you can be one of us fungus friends as well. I'm also thinking about possibly doing a live stream in the future where I just 
paint and grate a bunch of mushrooms because I think they would make awesome stickers. So if that is something that you would like to see, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'm not going to be able to start live streaming until probably September or maybe in August. I might be able to do some live streams in August, but July, I am swamped. I am so busy in July, but if you happen to live in the Texas or New Mexico area, I'm actually going to be down your way. Not that Texas isn't a gin ginormous state, but uh, I'm going to be down there teaching at a couple of camps in New Mexico and Texas. I'll be talking about that a little bit later on an upcoming video. That is what is kind of consuming my July. So in August, I'm hoping to be back to more regular videos here on this channel. Well, once again, thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video. If you enjoyed this and are interested in watching some more Art a la carte art videos, may I recommend one of these videos here. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me. God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.